Hi, I'm Juliet. Gary Oldman directed a music video for a Jewish hip-hop band, which he shot entirely on cell phones. He asked me to direct the making of, and when I saw the footage that I'd gotten, I realized I had a unique perspective into Gary's creative process. I approached him and asked if it could develop into a short documentary film. In these interviews, I'm talking to other artists who I admire about their creative process, and like Take Flight, hopefully shedding some light and showing them a little bit differently than they've been seen. So tell me a little bit about your process. How did you become an actor? I, I probably, I fell into becoming an actor because there was a girl in junior high school that I was sort of interested in and she went into the drama club and I followed her in. Two months later she was gone, I was still there. Uh, so that's how I started. I became an actor primarily because uh, early on I was doing a play and uh, I was in performance and I walked off stage and I had no memory of what I had just done. I knew I had transported to some other place and uh, I've spent the rest of my life trying to find those experiences. How do you prep for a role? I do the textual analysis and then if it's a play I get the benefit of three to four to five weeks to, to sculpt, sculpt the performance. And that is enormously satisfying for me. Less satisfying although sometimes more exciting is to work on television where you get a script and you do that to some extent. You see what is the character doing for, for the overall project? How do I fit into that? What insights from my own life can I bring to, to make that happen and perhaps even make it a little bit better? Um, and just over and over, just work the lines over and over and have epiphanies in the bathtub. Because that's usually where the epiphanies come. Do they? I'm sitting in the bathtub, staring in the dark, because I like to bathe in the dark. Just too much information. <laughs> and um, invariably, ideas come that mm -hmm. never came in rehearsal. And they're, they're great epiphanies. And uh, then I try to run with them in rehearsal. What is the project you've worked on that you felt was the most like a kid playing? Most like a kid was certainly my, my role on Star Trek. The character was a kid. Uh, he was only about 400 years old, but he, <laughs> he was a kid. And I, I, I had an epiphany, not in the bathtub. Uh, I suddenly realized the joy that this character had for living, for just mm. for life. And uh, that uh, uh, came over me like a, like a wave. And, and for the next six or seven years, it was just about having fun. As opposed to the character I played on Buffy, who was a man who never had fun. And, and that could be fun too, to play someone who never has fun. But uh, he was way too serious for his own good, which made him very comical. Mm -hmm. And made him, um, um, I mean the best word for him is dastardly. He was just dastardly. Not evil like you were, but uh, <laughs> dastardly. You were pretty evil. I was not evil. I was oh, just a That's what I always person. say. <laughs> like, I'm not you evil. Were evil. I just had a few problems. You had a few problems. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were both a little neurotic. I'm yeah, sure. just a little bit. Yeah. Take Flight shows Gary in a way he hasn't been seen. What do you think is the biggest misconception about you? I think most people in our business, and, and of course viewers as well, Think of me as the characters that I've played. Mm -hmm. and, and the truth is we're all human beings. We have many boxes and we can fit into different shapes all the time. And if we're good actors, there are a lot of shapes we can become. We're, we're great shapeshifters, all of us. When something comes together for you as an artist, what does that feel like? Joy. It's just utter joy. It's a simple word, but it, I think, expresses everything. I'm ecstatic that it's worked and the moon is aligned with the sun and the stars and it's not often, it doesn't happen very often so achieving that is what I as an actor strive for it's why I told you I started in the business we try, we try, we get halfway there, we get three quarters there but it's rare when it's completely there Yeah. We get a rare POV in Take Flight as Gary operates one of the cell cams that we would never get with a traditional camera. It's like being inside his head and seeing through his eyes. 
if I gave you a cell cam, what would we see? I have a rare POV because I'm so short. So uh, <laughs> it's always looking up. Um, and that's actually a nice place to be. Uh, it's to, because uh, we look up, I have to look up to see people and, and also sort of beyond the people is always heaven. So you're always trying to aspire to something better. Okay, so I have this film and it's about Gary Oldman, Jewish hip hop and cell phones. How do you think I should market it? Every synagogue has a gift shop. You might just go to the various synagogues around town, Los Angeles, and perhaps just try to have them take one copy of the thing and see how it sells. Because a lot of the people in our business are Jewish, you might find a producer who, whose wife goes into the gift shop and sees it and says, you know, I just got this from Juliet, and uh, it's wonderful. You should watch it. I had no idea that um, synagogues had gift shops. All of them have gift shops. Churches have gift shops. I uh, didn't know that either. But I'm sure there are much better places, but that's just, just one place to start with.